there are three different types of sandwiches on the shelf. There are four egg sandwiches, five cheese and two ham sandwiches. Erin takes at random two of these sandwiches. We've got to work out that probably she takes two different types of sandwiches. So Erin could take um, egg first, which would be a four out of 11 possibility. And then she could take something different, so she could take cheese second, which would be five, well, it would now be five from 10, of course, because she's taken one of the cheese. Now she could do this the other way round, so she could take the, so we'll put, just remind you, it's egg and cheese, our first choice. It could be cheese and egg. So if it was cheese and egg, it would be five from 11 times four from 10. So you can see it's really, it's exactly the same um, answer. This part and this part will be the same. So we may as well just double one of the answers. So for egg and cheese, we're gonna have 20 over 210. So all together, that combination is going to be 40, not 210 rather, 110 over 110. So it would be 20, 20 over 110 plus 20 over 110. Now that's the egg cheese combination. We could have egg and ham. So egg and ham would be four from 11 times two from 10. And remember, there's gonna be two ways of doing it. So that combination, we'll, we'll circle our combination answers. It's gonna give me four twos to 16 from 110. So that's two of the possibilities, there's three possibilities. So we've done egg with cheese, we've done egg with ham. So that leaves cheese and ham. So the cheese and ham will be 5 from 11 times 2 from 10 and times 2 again. And that's going to give me 20 from 110. So we've got 40, 20 and 16, which gives me 76. So the full answer then will be 76 out of 110. And remember that there's two possibilities. You can have egg and cheese, cheese and egg. It doesn't make any difference to the probabilities. And so I use that fact for egg and ham and cheese and ham. Got my three individual answers. They all satisfy the criteria of taking two different types of sandwich. We add them together. So um, have I added that together correctly? Or have I set the final answer? So it's going to be 40, 16 and 20. So the final answer is 76 from 110, which can be written as 38 over 55, if you prefer.